Now, first of all, thank you so much, guys, ladies and gentlemen, for being part of this video. And please welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. But I'm just requesting you to kindly please support me or help me grow this channel by subscribing just in case you are here for the first time or maybe you could be watching this video and you haven't subscribed. Also, don't forget to press that notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video on this platform, YouTube will automatically send you the notification to my loyal subscribers to my loyal viewers and to my supporters who are also currently watching this video i just want to really appreciate you so much guys for your continued support so feel very much welcome and i really don't take the support for granted now i just want us to go straight into our critical analysis for today without wasting much time and the asmio lomoja alliance leader Right Honorable Raila Molodinga has been left short after his own chief agent by the name Saitabao Olekanjuri has issued a stern warning to Raila Molodinga against threatening President William Samoy Ruto and against holding his meaningless uh, demonstrations across the country. One thing that you must understand is this, that Saitabao Olekanjuri, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> is one of the very best leaders that Raila Odinga still have in the Azimio Lomoja Islands. And in my considered opinion, Raila Odinga should be proud of Saitabao Olekanchuri. Saitabao Olekanchuri, ladies and gentlemen, has always wanted the best for Raila Odinga. And that is why he will never ever speak anything just to please Raila Odinga. He will always talk the truth no matter how it hurts. And I personally think that that is the kind of a leader that each and every politician here in Kenya will be proud to have. Setabao Olekanjuri warned Raila Odinga way back before that the only people who will mess up his campaigns, the only people who will mess up Raila Odinga's election and his presidency are only two people. The Sunna East member of the National Assembly, Honorable Junet Mohammed, and the former uh, CS for ICT, John Mushiru. And I just wish that Raila Odinga should have listened to him because what Ole Kanjuri talked about came to pass. And in the previous 2022 general election, Raila Odinga appointed the GE's chief agent Saitaba Ole Kanjuri and he assigned him a duty to go to the bombers of Kenya so that he can protect Raila Amolo Odinga's votes there. And in my considered opinion, ladies and gentlemen, Saitabao Olekanjuri did a wonderful work. Saitabao Olekanjuri gave it all to Raila Molodinga. And I just wish Raila Odinga should have, would have noticed this. Because during the telling process at the Bombers of Kenya or at the IEBC, Saitabao Olekanjuri was the very, very first leader of Azimio Lomoja Alliance to completely reject the votes or the, the, the results of the final election even before they were announced. Why? Because he noticed something that Raila Odinga did not know. And Raila Odinga, because he listened to Junet Mohammed and others, he ignored Saitabao Olekanjuri. Also, Saitabao Olekanjuri was able to point out some uh, election, uh, some electoral fraud at the boomers of Kenya while the counting process was still on. But Raila Odinga still ignored Saitabao Olekanjuri. Saitabao Olekanjuri, I still remember him fighting physically at the boomers of Kenya just to protect Raila Odinga's uh, votes. And if you can still remember, he, he introduced or he came up with this uh, statement that the IEBC or the boomers of Kenya is a scene of crime. You know, that word went viral and it became very, very much popular, if you can still remember. So, generally, or basically, uh, Raila Odinga should listen to uh, Setabao or Kanjuri this time round, and I just wish Raila Odinga should give uh, him a, an opportunity or a second chance in the Azimio Lomoja. You know, in my considered opinion, these are the kind of leaders that Raila Odinga should be rewarding. But Raila Odinga never notices this. He only rewards the people who lies to him. The people who will always talk to please him. You know, this is what Saitabao Kanjuri is telling Raila Odinga. 
that number one, Raila Odinga has no clear plan and it is very, very risky to follow uh, a leader who does not have a plan or an endgame. In that statement alone, I personally think that Setabao Olkanjori is talking on behalf of very, very many Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders who are very much afraid of telling Raila Odinga the truth. Is talking on behalf of them and that is why instead of leaders telling Raila Odinga the truth they decide to defect from Azimio but uh, Setabao Lekanjori has taken that bold step you know no matter how much it hurts but he has told Raila Odinga the truth if I may ask you ladies and gentlemen what is the main political objective that Raila Odinga wants to achieve by holding these political demonstrations there is no clear plan because recently he revealed to us that he does not want a handshake in William Samuel Ruto's government. So what does he want? Because he cannot undo and he will never ever undo William Samuel Ruto's presidency. So what does he want basically? There is no clear plan. So that is the first truth that is being told. Number two, Saitabao Olekanjori is telling Raila Odinga that Raila Amolo Odinga must hold his peace and the people of the Republic of Kenya don't have that time for silly games. This is also a pure truth that Raila Odinga is only taking advantage and is playing with the minds of his Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters. And that is why Raila Odinga is coming up with some very cheap propaganda just to make his Azimio supporters to believe. And they are currently buying that uh, propaganda from Raila Odinga. For example, Raila Odinga is talking about um, an exit an exit poll final results. Have you ever had such a word in the in, in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya that uh, points out the election of the Republic of Kenya, how should it should be conducted? In the constitution of Kenya only says that election is a process and it is not an event. And there is nothing like the entrance or the exit final poll results. There is nothing like that. But Ray Lodinga is saying that according to the exit poll shows that he, is, he actually won the previous election. Nothing like that. Ray Lodinga is also talking about the IEBC whistleblower, something that does not exist. You know, I went through that documents or the results that the whistleblower from IEBC that Ray Lodinga is talking about. And I went into the details and I found out that it was unfortunate, that it was a pure lie. Pure, very pure lies. If you can look at the results, even at areas of the strongholds of President William Samuel Ruto, it shows that uh, Raila Odinga defeated William Ruto in those areas. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like the whistleblower, uh, what Raila Odinga is talking about. So, Kajuri is telling Raila Odinga that the people of the Republic of Kenya don't want don't have don't have that time for silly games. Number three, Saitabao Lekanjori has warned Raila Odinga or he has advised Raila Odinga to still consider President William Samuel Ruto's offer. And according to him, William Samuel Ruto has already uh, uh, provided handshake to Raila Odinga through the powerful office of the opposition leader and Raila Odinga should take that. Let me just read for you. Uh, uh, just briefly so that you can understand this is what is telling Ray Lodinga. I just want to show you on the screen that William Samuel Ruto has already offered Ray Lodinga a handshake in form of leader of the official opposition. If Baba gets another handshake, we are going to retire him very, very early. So that is an advice and also a clear threat that number five, Setabao Olekanjuri is warning Ray Lodinga that and I'm personally believing that he is talking on behalf of other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. That if you take another handshake apart from the powerful office of the opposition leader, we will take you to very, very early retirement. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have much to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Salute. Thank you.